Look at all the machines around me producing 24 seven, making high quality components here at Colby Precision in Buckinghamshire. They're now automation converts and wouldn't have been able to achieve that without Matsura. Wow, Vince, we're here at a really accomplished engineering house. Tell us a little bit about Colbury. Um, Colbury started in 1995, um, based in Hemel uh, Hempstead. Um, unfortunately, we got blown up in the uh, Buntsfield uh, disaster back in 2006, uh, which resulted in us moving to our current premises here in, in Pittstone. And it's an amazing story of you coming here, um, but you're also, you've grown into having a lot of engineering expertise. Yeah, I mean, we started off uh, with uh, as a fabrication company. Um, we then developed into sliding head and fixed head um, turning. Um, and then due, due to customers' needs, we then went into milling. Um, we've now grown considerably si since those days back in 1985. Uh, we now offer a, a considerable amount of services at a very high level from uh, precision fabrication uh, to wire harnessing to electromechanical assembly, as well as our traditional um, milling and turning um, machining that we, we've always had. And trying to achieve that high level engineering, um, what, what part of your uh, engineering investment is important? Is it the staffing, the machinery, the equipment? We always put staff at the top, top of, our, um, of our agenda on anything here. Um, secondly, it comes to machinery. Um, we look at, um, uh, we're very lean here. We look at mean fan lean manufacturing. Um, that allows us to offer the best service we possibly can at the lowest cost to our customer. Um, and to achieve the lean manufacturing, um, Matsura uh, was a, a perfect business partner for us to get in with because of the what their machinery can offer. And more specifically, when you invest in machinery and Matsura, how do they help? How did that journey help you aspire towards lean manufacturing? Well, we originally started with a two pallet um, H Matsura. I uh, can't remember which one it was. Um, and it opened our eyes to what is capable of a, a, a multi pallet. It was only a two pallet. Um, so it was a natural progression for us because the Matsura we had, even though it was quite an old machine, um, it constantly produced high quality work. So then we're, the next step is, well, how can we improve on this? And the next step was obviously to go back to Matsura and say, what have you got available? Um, we then brought in a 15 pallet four axis machine to replace the two pallet one. Um, and we were surprised about the quality, the consistent quality that came off the machine. Um, we were allowed to, allowed us to run lights out uh, for longer periods of time. And as projects dictated from our customers and they got bigger and the demand got bigger and the production needs got bigger, uh, the next logical step for us under our lean manufacturing was to look at a machine that could offer us um, a greater depth of production, uh, but continuing the consistency and high precision of, of what we required within, within the component. Um, so the next step was for the, the MAM 72, 32 pallets, it allowed us, uh, allows us to put um, multiple jobs on it or multiple operations on it, even though it is five axis, we can, uh, we do have other suites of parts that we can put on. So instead of machining one suite or one part, we can uh, machine multiple parts of that suite. So it basically comes off as a complete unit. So from our MAM sem uh, 32, 32 pallet, that led then led on to our uh, MAM 7263 with six pallets, uh, which gave us um, a bigger footprint, um, takes heavier loads, um, which gives us further opportunity going forward with potential new contracts that we've got to win. We're, with the diversity of this machine, it allows us to load more singular components on one pallet, or in the future, if we have bigger components, it will allow us to do that on there as a singular unit. Um, and we've been very impressed going forward with the, all the Matsuras that we've got here and the quality that we get off and the, and the consistency of the finish of the parts and the precision of the parts that we get. 
That in conjunction with a green energy that we produce here, future proofs this for decades to come.